Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the fifth day of my week featuring Waffle Flower. On the first day of uh, this week featuring Waffle Flower, I used uh, this die and I created a card that's the card I created, that was actually a gift card holder. So I got so much uh, feedback about this die and I know that you loved it. So I thought to, uh, to use it again today just to show you how versatile it is and I'm going for a totally different project. So I'm going to create a gift bag. It's a tiny little gift bag that it's great for treats and depending on the um, embellishments that you add on top, it can uh, become a birthday bag or a Christmas bag. Uh, it can even be a trick or treat um, bag. But uh, today I'm going for a fall or Thanksgiving treat bag. So I am just cutting out uh, the paper and I am going to cut out two pieces of uh, this die which are going to be the front and the back of my bag. I have used some pattern paper. This pattern paper is by Stamperia and uh, that's an Italian company and I'm going to leave a link down below in the description area where you can find uh, it online. So I'm just uh, folding the flaps there. To put your bag together you need to have a strip of paper. Now the strip of paper that you need should be eight and a half long. This is not an eight and a half long, I am going to cut it down later. And uh, the width can be as big as you want to. Mine is only one inch and depending on how uh, much width you have your bag can be bigger or smaller. So I'm going to cut out this strip to be eight and a half. And then I need to score it. Now for scoring this strip of paper you need to remember the number 3. So I'm going to bring my Martha Stewart scoring board. I'm going to place my strip on top and I'm going to score at 3 inches. I'm going to turn it around and then score again at 3 inches. Or if you want to score it at once, that's three and five and a half. So now I have this uh, shape, which I am going to use to stick the flaps on top. So I am adding on the flap some strong tape adhesive. I am uh, going to peel that off and then assemble my little bag. Now as I'm doing that, just to remind you that you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. When I finish my assemble, I always like to squeeze the top just like I'm doing now, so I end up with a tiny bag that I can close on top. And in the tie set there is this handle that I am going to use, but I'm going to show you that there are other options. So as you can see there is this little slit that I can put on top. Of course you have to die cut it uh, before assembling the tag, and then you will end up with a nice little handle. So in this case I'm going to use the big handle. I like it better because I feel that it gives more height to the bag. I'm going to use some strong adhesive at the bottom of those handles and then I'm going to stick them at the top of my bag. Now I also have to apologize for the noise at the background. Uh, today my kids have their friends over and they are playing all over the house. So I hope you don't really mind. To finish off the bag and just to give it a more uh, distressed look, I'm also going to go over the edges as well as over the handles with my blending tool and in this case I'm using Vintage Photo. I'm not adding too much, just quickly inking up the edges. This is going to bring everything together, the handle with the pattern paper. 
And I'm going to bring in another stamp set by Waffle Flower and that's called Trick or Treat and I'm going to use the pumpkins. This is a great uh, stamp set for Halloween but I'm going to use only the pumpkins since I am going for a Thanksgiving treat bag. I'm going to close the door of my mist and I'm going to stamp the pumpkins by using brown ink. Now just because the bag is all brown I didn't want to add any black since it's uh, going to be too vibrant. And the ink I used was archival ink in coffee color. So I'm going to stamp it a couple of times just to have a nice impression and then I'm going to use my Prisma colors to color the pumpkins. Now as you can probably tell the pumpkins are too many to cut out and stick on top of my bag. They will definitely stick out. So I'm only going to use three of all those four pumpkins and that's why I'm not going to color them all. Now I'm going to speed up the video, I'm going to put on some music and show you how I color one of those pumpkins and I'll get back to you once everything is colored. And now as you can see I haven't colored one of them just because I can uh, use only the three and stick one on top of the other to cover up the bottom of my bag. So now I'm using my scissors, I'm going to cut them out and notice how I'm going to cut out the second pumpkin. I don't care if I haven't colored that uh, space there. After all I'm going to stick the other pumpkin on top. I am using foam squares at the back of those pumpkins to stick them down but you can of course just use your uh, tape adhesive and stick them flush on the bag. This way you won't have anything sticking out. I just love dimension and uh, in my cards or even in my treat bags. So there you have a tiny little treat bag where you can add a gift for the hostess of your Thanksgiving dinner. Now I always like to hand out uh, handmade jewelry that I make. So there you have a little necklace that I'm going to put inside. And I have also used this die by Waffle Flower that says uh, with love. I have used it in one of the videos that I have shared throughout the week. And uh, I have cut it out of um, the craft paper that I have cut out the handles. So it's, um, it brings everything together. And I'm going to stick it on top of uh, my bag. Now to stick uh, the die cut on top I have used my Nouveau glue pen at the back and my little treat bag is ready. All you have to do now is to close it. You can just tie a bow with a ribbon on top of those handles but just because I have that necklace inside and I don't want it to fall I decided to use my tiny attacher. So I'm going to bring in my Tim Holtz stapler there. I'm going to staple the top of my bag and just to cover up that uh, metal part I have created a bow using my satin uh, green ribbon and I'm going to stick it on top of that metal part by using a glue dot at the back. Once that's there I'm also going to use my scissors to tidy, to tidy up the tails of my bow. 
And my little pack is ready. Now, just because I cannot um, finish with little details, I decided to add some uh, shine with my clear wing of Stella glitter pen. So I'm going over my die cut as well as the pumpkins. And this is going to add just a little bit of shimmer. And that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. I hope you had fun this week as I was featuring Waffle Flower. Thank you all for watching!